Hey guys, it's Ryder Stalash, and today my guest will share success messages from his book, book The Success Messages, How to Recharge Your Passion, Purpose, and Potential. Romeo Marquez Jr. is an international keynote speaker, author of the number one best-selling book, The Success Messages, and creator and host of the inspirational podcast, Superstar Success University. He has delivered more than a thousand presentations to over 250,000 audience members that range from high school students to sales professionals to CEOs across the United States, Canada, and Europe. As a member of the National Speakers Association and Screen Actors Guild, Romeo has worked with notable names such as an actor, comedian Jim Carrey, Grammy Award winning group, The Black Eyed Peas, Academy Award winner, Anthony Hopkins, and Hollywood superstar Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Beyond the accomplishments and impact he has created around the world, what is most important to Romeo is his family. They are a constant reminder to him to always be kind and of service to others, even if they're not San Francisco 49ers fans. Romeo, one of the things that I really, really like about your book, The Success Messages, is that it's short read simple messages to the point, inspiring, uplifting. So I want to know how this book came about and what inspired you to write it. All right, so one of the things that I do in the morning time is I meditate, I take time for myself, and as I'm landed and present with what's taking place in the morning meditation, I would receive messages. For me, it's God, um, and people might say higher self or universe, whatever it may be for them. and I would take in these messages and then I'd post it on social media. Mm -hmm. And I put it out there because it's, it's, I think it's something that might help people. And then people would hear or people would say, you know what, I needed that today. And I went, huh. And then in my meditation, I became more intentional by asking, God, what's the message you want me to share with the world today? And then after that, I would post it. And sometimes I would receive messages and sometimes I wouldn't. And so after about a year or so, I just looked at all these messages and I went, why not put something together uh, so it's in a physical form? Because I don't know about y'all, but I love reading books and I like having that physical copy of a book. Mm -hmm. And basically, these are messages that are just um, channeled through me, if you will. I'm a messenger. I like to call like myself it. a messenger. I like it. I love it. I mean, it's, it's so true. All you need sometimes is that one message. Let's say if you're down and you read it, you know, you feel inspired, uplifted, and I could not agree with you more. That's You don't need to read yeah. a bunch, like five pages to get that. It's <laughs> right. just like that, that short message of inspiration. Right, yeah. and I'm glad you brought that up because it reminded me of, uh, of another reason why, mm -hmm. and that's because I love not only reading, but I love positive quotes. Mm -hmm. And my sister actually got me into the personal development world by giving me a positive quote calendar. Mm -hmm. And that in itself led to a positive quote book, which led to other books. And then I thought to myself, why not create something that I started out with, which is a positive quote book. I love it. I love it. Uh, so actually, I'm going to go through a few messages mm -hmm. that I want you to expand on. Let's do it. Maybe people can learn some tricks and things because you are like one of the like positive as you can tell, like <laughs> happy all the time. You just appreciate and, and, it, and I think we can learn a lot from you. I have learned a lot. Positive from you. attracts positive. I know. I, I get this positive <laughs> because of what's in front of me right now. I love it. I love it. Let's do it. So the first message that I have, I have, I create opportunities that attract great opportunities. Mm -hmm. So would you be so kind and expand on that, and and um, how how do you, you how, how that, that message applies in your life? Yeah. So. My background is I studied acting. I studied okay. acting at UCLA, and then after UCLA, I got into auditioning or whatnot. And in the acting world, in the entertainment world, you're constantly seeking approval, like, am I good enough? Should I get this part? How come I didn't get this part? And I realized over time that I have so much to offer to give and give to the world that I don't want to wait for anybody to tell me when to do it. And so I realized that if I create an opportunity or while I'm waiting for bigger opportunity or waiting for opportunities, why not create it in the process? Mm -hmm. And so there have been many things like writing plays, doing my one man show, creating workshops, seminars, books. Like most of the time, I don't even know how to create it. but have that intention, have that vision, 
and somewhere along the way, uh, resources, opportunities come and will guide you in the process. Because when you're not creating, you're going to be waiting. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, next message that I have that I wanna, want you to expand on let's is, do it. I have the power to overcome all things that get in my way. Mm -hmm. So how do, you, how do you overcome those obstacles? Because I know a lot of our people in audio, you know, people who watch this video yeah. have challenges, daily yeah. challenges. Mm -hmm. And so how do you overcome them? So for me, I think it's, it's really about nurturing yourself, uh, taking notice of what's going great, and taking notice of what's not working. Um, I like to make sure my foundation is strong and I do that by taking advantage of my magic hour. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is magic hour. Um, and it's nurturing my b mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. And so, like I said earlier, I do morning meditations. Um, I'll write in a gratitude journal to see what's going right. Like, Despite all these things that are going wrong or going that, that's really difficult, that are not going the way I want it to be, on the flip side, there are a lot of things that are going great. There's this quote that I really love by John Wooden, and I try to apply it to my life. And it says this, um, do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. Mm. So there are a lot of things that I cannot do. But there are a lot of things that I can do. So when I create and aware myself based on that morning time, um, I'm able to see that I have all the resources and tools to create. And I will attract uh, other resources to help me move forward. Because while I'm a teacher of this work, a speaker of this work, I'm a constant student of this work. And I think another thing to bring up, uh, as far as the body, you know, I do a lot of workouts. Currently, I'm training for a marathon. Um, but the main thing is asking, asking other people, coaching, receiving coaching, mm. uh, reaching out to people who are doing things that you want or, you know, doing things that I want to do. And so when I have that guidance, when I have that coach, that mentorship, whether I get it from a person like this for one on one or from a book, I, I receive gold. That's what I like to call it. And it's not just gold, but I also call them gifts. And one of the messages in my book is uh, the acronym for gifts mm -hmm. is God's inspiration for the soul. Mm -hmm. So when I'm here, I'm not only sharing gifts, but I'm receiving gifts mm -hmm. by you just being present with me, you know, mm -hmm. because your present is also a gift. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I, I love it. I mean, I think the biggest, one of the things that I use in my life is, I know, we, we talk a lot about in this industry, like talk sure. about gratitude, be grateful yeah. for it. And, but I think that people understand with mine, like understand that, like, oh, you need to be grateful. But mm. when you actually take the time to express gratitude, mm. it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. You know, focusing on things, what's right instead of what's wrong. Right. Like be grateful for what you already have as you're creating the things that you want, attract more. Right. So I think that's a really big thing to, to, to take the time in the morning or evening or mm -hmm. just close your eyes and just really what am I grateful for, right? Right. And uh, another thing to add on to that message that you just read is not to f just focus on the obstacle, but mm -hmm. where's the opportunity in that obstacle? Mm. Because for every obstacle, there's an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. For every mess, there's a message. <laughs> and so a lot of the times when things do go wrong or things get difficult, I ask, you know, what does this mean? What is the message? And then the follow-up question is, what else could this mean? Mm. Where, where else is the gift in here? And so when I'm able to take a step back, create that awareness, and look at it from a bird's eye view, I'm able to see it more clearly. I'm able to um, see for what it can be rather than what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's, it's, I love that you're expanding on these ideas and um, sharing the wisdom. Yeah. So, <laughs> I like this one a lot, and just maybe you can share more how, how you do this. Is, sure. Um, I'm a gift to others when I show up. Yeah. I'm a gift to others when I show up. Yeah. So how do you express that? Gift? How do you? <laughs> so any time I enter a meeting, any time I enter an interview, um, an audience, one of the questions I ask myself or higher power, God, is how can I be a gift in this situation? How can I be a gift to the audience? How can I be a gift in this interview? Because what that does is it's not it's not about me. It's about the other person. 
It's about me sharing. It's about giving. And at the, on the flip side, on the other side, that person also has a gift mm -hmm. to give me. And sometimes it may not be the gift that I want, but it's a gift that's going to teach me something. something yeah. You know what I mean? And there's a, uh, so long time ago when I, backstory, throughout high school, I was really into sports. That was my big thing. And I've always wanted to do theater. I wanted to do acting. And so it wasn't until I got to college where I got into acting. And so they, it was a place where I was able to, you know, fully express myself, do the things I've always wanted to do, take the stage, and on and on. Yeah. And there was an audition for a play. And then I asked my first acting teacher, I said, hey, Valerie, there's an audition for a play. I've never auditioned for a play in my life. Should I go? And then she said this. <laughs> These are the words that changed my life. She said, you won't know if you don't go. You won't know if you don't go. And just and so I was like, wow, that was powerful. And then she said, make bold choices when you're at the audition. And so, okay, so I show up to the audition and I make bold choices. You know, I get the part, which leads to other parts and on and on. But the key thing is just showing up. And by showing up, I was not only a gift for others and a gift for myself, but it, it's really a gift for the world because if I didn't take that step into auditioning, I don't think I would be as comfortable or as confident to share the messages or the gifts and talents uh, that are within me that wanna, because one of my big things that I, I wanna do is awaken the gifts within others. Because people go, how do I know this, this, and that? I'm like, it's already within you, and it's, you know, there's certain questions to ask yourself uh, to see what they are. Absolutely. And well, that's why you're on this show. Huh. To, 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 to help to help to do you know to help people to do that because that's like my purpose in life yeah. that's what I'm gonna help people to you know find their gifts and bring those gifts out to yeah. the world and uh, create amazing things so thank you final yeah. message yeah if I can find it yeah and uh, I am filled with an abundance of happiness and pure joy <laughs> which you are <laughs> but again it's like you literally like every time I meet you you mm -hmm. always like this. Mm -hmm. Thank it's you. not like one day you're on, one day you're off. Yeah. It's every day. Oh, thanks. You know, and I know that with all the struggles, we all have struggles. But how do you do this? How do you bring this, you know, again? <laughs> how do I yeah. bring this pure joy, joy and, and love? Yes. Um, that's where I just said the word. Let me go back to mm -hmm. it. Is we are, we are love. We represent love. And I think anything uh, away from love is just love off course. And so it's coming back to love. And how do I do that? I do that by recognizing who I am, what I'm capable of. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of st their struggles, their things that I worry about. Mm -hmm. But it, it goes back to that Wayne Dyer quote, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Mm -hmm. So rather than seeing myself as a warrior, I see myself as a warrior. Mm -hmm. So rather than seeing something as a setback, I see it as a setup for a comeback. You know, when you just make that tiny shift, shift, you allow yourself to be open for what's possible. I think many times people are so, um, on the flip side, are constantly worrying about the, the struggles and worrying about the difficulties. And I think it's important to recognize them and feel it, but don't spend the majority of your time in there. And then the thing that I do want to get at is the reason why I'm like this is because it really is a muscle. It's not, let me just be positive and I feel yeah. good. Mm -hmm. No, it's something that I work on every single day. Like yeah. every single day, like in the morning and the night when I'm driving and that could be reading books. It could yeah. be doing interviews. It's about yeah. having like these authentic connections. And when I'm able to recognize and just be around goodness, that brings the goodness out of me. So it's not like, oh, he's um, just positive and he's just naturally like that. I'm like, no, there are times mm -hmm. where I... I I, I do fall in my own funk, but I have to step away from that and realize that if I want, if I want good in my life, I got to be around goodness and I got to continue working that muscle. I mean, you're Mr. Yeah. Buckman and <laughs> Muscle Man. Like, imagine if you just yeah. worked out once and yeah. went, okay, I'm good. Yeah. I, and then a year from now, you only worked out once. Do you think yeah. you'd have all those muscles? Exactly. Not. Of course not. But you look good. I wish I could have as much muscles as him. <laughs> and it goes based on not just working out, but taking yourself internally. And that, like, you know, you, what you eat, basically. And so I think that's the other thing. I read this in a book. 
Whereas it's, it's your inner world that creates your outer world. Mm -hmm. So it's not only just working out your positive muscle with your thinking, mm -hmm. but it, c taking care of your heart feeding your soul, yeah. and feeding your soul. soul yeah. yeah, I'm exactly. a big on that. I, I like that you use the muscle analogy because if anyone watch my videos I, or short Instagram videos, I always talk about, you know, it's everything, it's, it's a habit and it's a muscle. Yeah. The, the more we work, work on it, the stronger it will get. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, and nutrition. What do you feed yeah. your mind and your yeah. soul? If you always listen to angry music, watch depressing <laughs> movies and hang out with depressing people, <laughs> and then you wonder why you're depressed, right? right? It's like, well, something's got to change. Right. Your nutrition needs to change for your soul. Exactly. It's very simple. And it's like you said, noticing your environments, mm -hmm. just noticing your surroundings, the people, what you're putting into your head, what you're doing, what you're not doing, mm -hmm. what you're holding on to, what you need to let go. Yeah. Like, all that matters. But well, again, and it's just another th uh, one thing I just want to take notice is just you don't have to go for like the big jump and just be happy if you're in that funk. Just yeah. go 1%. Yeah. Just 1% more. Mm -hmm. Better than you were yesterday. Yeah. And you might take two steps forward and then one step back. Yeah. Yeah. And then you might take five steps forward and three steps back. But just, just keep moving forward. If there's anything you're getting from today, <laughs> Just keep moving forward because you're closer than you think. Hey, I love uh, it. I miracles. Love it. It, miracles are on the way. Is, is it, isn't he amazing? <laughs> before, we, well, before we close this uh -huh. interview, one message that you want to share with your audience today. I know you shared a lot of great stuff, but there's like one message that you want them to walk away from this video that would make a big impact on their life in the most positive way. That would be... I mean, I just thought of like yeah. 50, yeah. but you said one. Yeah, just one. Just what, one. What comes to, yeah. It's time. It's time. I love it. And my acronym for it's time is igniting transformation so that inspiration moves every day. So it's it. time is, means like doing it now. Yeah. Acronym in the, book, mm -hmm. in the book is when you do it now, you have new opportunities waiting. Like, just do it now and stop waiting. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to wait for other people's approval. You don't have to wait for this. Like, you really mm -hmm. have full control of your destiny, mm -hmm. you know, and it, you can accelerate that process by connecting with cool people like yourself and coaches and authors. But no more waiting. Like, if I want people to get something, you make it happen. it's time. Make stop. it happen. Do it now. Like, stop. <laughs> Why are you still watching this? I Go! Know. Leave! Do it now! I, I Take know. action! I know. That, that's, that's actually my final, final thought. Actually, I have one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, writers. Yes. So, Les Brown does say, or I'll quote, do yeah. two quotes. Les Brown says, a uh, great speaker and author, he oh, says, yes. uh, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. And then Jack Canfield also says, uh, the world doesn't pay you for what you know. It pays you for what you do. And then my thing is, it's time. I love mm. it. So it's time for you to go out and create some results. So, yeah. you know, what is that one thing that you've been putting off? You've been thinking about it. It's like, not, it's not quite ready. I don't yeah. have the time. I don't have the money. Look, nothing will change unless you just go and do it and make things happen. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm glad he shared that. It's yeah. time. It's time uh, for people you. are going to be like, what, what, what is this? <laughs> this stopwatch? Jack Canfield actually gave this to me. And people go like, what is this? I, he gave this to me and I say, it's time. It's time. Ready, set, go. Thank uh. you so much for watching. Appreciate you, it bro. It was an interview with Romeo Marquez yeah. Jr. <laughs> and check out his book, The Success Message. Appreciate it. And if y'all don't know about the magic hour, you better get it. <laughs> it builds your foundation Thank this you. time. Thanks so much. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Awesome. <laughs> that was one of the best. Thanks. That was, that was fun. Really, yeah, I like really that. Good. It was so like present and natural. I love the, the passion. <laughs> Ready? Action. Action. All right. Action. <laughs> that's a clap. That's a that's, clapper. That's, that's, a clap. that's like literally the clapper I right know. here. Clapper. Let's Action. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I am honored that you spend this time with me. To be sure that you get my notifications, be sure to subscribe right here. You can also visit my website right here and subscribe for my newsletter and get more information who I am and what I do. And also you can check out some of my other videos right here below. Thank you so much, have an amazing day and I'll see you soon.